happy Saturday. So I wanted to update you skincare wise because last night, um, or two nights ago actually, I ran out of my, I uh, finished up my CeraVe Hydrating Creamy Cleanser and I have this refreshing face wash from Your Good Skin. So I'm using that currently. So that's a little update in my skincare routine. I just switched the, the cleanser that I use at nighttime. You guys know I only wash my face uh, at nighttime once a day, <laughs> um, no more than that. But this one I really recommend, and it's uh, you can get. I got this at Walgreens, I believe, but it is fragrance free and has uh, it's like a, a nice gel vehicle. It has a little bit of green tea in it. It also has Visible, which is um, anti-inflammatory. And uh, it's good. It uh, doesn't sting, well at least it doesn't sting me. And it does a good job without a pre-oil cleanse of removing water resistant uh, sunscreen. Alta MD, you saw me put on this morning. Uh, and, and mascara, at least in my case. That's all the makeup that I wear. That and the, the tinted sunscreens, but. Yeah, this is a good one. I feel as though it is I feel as though it is cruelty free, but it um, it's really nice. I recommend it. Uh, their products, they have many good products. It's Your Good Skin brand. It started, started in the UK, it's available in Boots, but it's here as well. So yeah, this is nice. It's like a gel consistency, kind of like the, um, kind of like the Bestie gel cleanser from Drunk Elephant. It's, it actually, when I wash my face with this, it reminds me exactly of that. Like, I think I'm washing my face with that. So, uh, yeah, if you like that cleanser, this is a dupe for it. Likewise, if you like that cleanser, the um, Freederm Acne Spot, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Sensitive Skin Spa. It's like a pink gel. I'll list it down below. That cleanser is also also very good and a gel cleanser that is similar in feel and appeal feel and appeal to the bestie gel cleanser but yeah last time we had a ton of rain and i stayed up late last night um a little i was up late last night and then i stayed up even later because i wanted to start cold sassy tree that book that i got last week oh it's good i read like the first 30 pages of it and i'm really enjoying it so I allowed myself to sleep in late because I went to bed around like, two or three. Not good sleep hygiene, but what is? Um, it's the weekend. <laughs> um, but I am just brewing out my first, my first. I cracked into, I cracked into the um, the limited edition Cafe Bustello tin. It's the same Cafe Bustello espresso, but I have that brewing up here in Bialetti. So it's going in Totoro. And I'm just gonna add a little chaga, chaga, chaga. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like a freshly popped can of Estello to, to make everything peaceful and calm in the world. Oh, speaking of peaceful and calm, Woodland Path that I got in my grocery haul this week, Tuscany. Very nice, very nice. It keeps it, keeps it wintry without, um, being too Christmas, without being Christmassy. Um, this is the, what I'm talking about, cedar and fresh pine. It, it's really good. It smells like a nice wintry forest and it doesn't smell like that fake, like those fake little pine tree things that you put in your car, those air fresheners. It doesn't have that, that fake smell. It smells nice. Um, so that is a good one. And uh, what else happened this morning? I woke up, I did the um, Russian twists of day, what was it, day 11 of the Blog Lotties 100, 100 ab challenge. That, you guys, I'm really, I'm really feeling that, that routine, and I'm really feeling that challenge. <laughs> I've been doing it every day. It's, it's good. Um, and what else? Oh, and I had to renew my DEA, my DEA registration. That kind of sneaked up on me. I saw it in the mail. Did you guys get on, um, you can get, a little, you can sign up through USPS, your po the Postal Service, and you can see a snapshot every morning of what the mail is coming to your box. And the other day, I saw DEA. So whenever I see that, I get like a slight, I don't know, it just takes you back like, like 
the FBI is watching me or something. And then I was like, oh yeah, duh. It's time for me to renew my <laughs> DEA license. So I did that, yay. <laughs> but, um, oh, I got, I got some stuff from Erin Condren I'm gonna share with you guys. All right, so they sent me all of these wonderful accessories for my desk, which are really much needed items. First of all, they sent this wonderful desktop calendar. I've seen this on other people's social media postings. And here, let me flip it around so you guys can, you guys aren't looking upside down. I've seen this on other people's social media postings and I'm so ecstatic that they sent this to me because I love these month at a glance uh, pull off calendars. I used to have one of these in medical school, college, residency. I, I used to have several of them actually. I would call them my peripheral brain. While I have a planner dependency and the planner tells me everything that I need to do on a per second basis, this, these types of month at a glance distance calendars uh, are fantastic for always having, always having in the back of your mind what the, what the next couple of weeks the expectations are, what tasks need to be accomplished, love this. And what I like about the Erin Condren calendar is, while you guys know I love doing, you know I love doing the, the pens and the stickers and stuff in my planner just as a creative outlet. I don't really have time to do that uh, at a high intensity level uh, for everything. And I like this because it's really aesthetic in terms of the way it appears, you know, it has a nice appearance with the metallics. Um, this calendar actually starts in August of 2018 and goes all the way through 2019. So I'll just show you here. But you get nice wide spaces to jot things down. Um, and so it's really easy to look at and just see things at a glance. Um, and what I also am thrilled to see is that in the back, you get all of these lovely metallic stickers to tab things with. Bill due dates appointment reminders, that's really helpful. I, I'm one of those people, I always schedule my like dentist appointment, my doctor's appointment at the time, I, at the time of my actual appointment. So I schedule it for the following, following year and then it sneaks up on me and I forget. Or like auto maintenance, I do the same type of thing. Then it sneaks up on me. <laughs> I think I'm ahead and then, then I get, oops. So this is nice, I, that way I know when it's coming up. Um, and I, I see that it's on there. So like, for example, this month I'm going to, I need to get my tires rotated and my oil changed. So uh, yeah, that would have been a sticker. So that's great, I love that. And then for my desk, they also sent me some of the um, colorful dual tip markers. These are fantastic. They're probably some of the best ones I've ever, ever written with. I mentioned these in my 2018 lifestyle favorites video. I have some of them here. These are the ones I already have, the primary colors. They have a nice fine tip and they also have a nice uh, felt tip here. They don't bleed through. They don't rub off on your hands as you're writing, which is wonderful. I can't tell you how many times I have been, you know, furtively writing things down and then I go to have a conversation or interact with somebody and I look down at my hands and they're covered with ink. That frequently happens actually when I sit down to film. I get ready to start talking and then I look down at my hands and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm covered in ink from writing down notes of things that I didn't want to forget to say in this video and now I have to go wash my hands. So yeah, um, these don't do that. So they have made, they have, they have, uh, they have eliminated that problem for me in, in note taking. Speaking of note taking, always need notepads. And I usually use those notepads that you get at like the dollar, the dollar spot, bullseye spot, whatever it's, whatever its proper term is these days at Target, the ones with the magnets on the back. Those are fun, but I don't like, what I don't like about them is that they're lined. These you have the option to not have lined. I take great pride in the fact that for whatever reason, one of the few gifts that I have is the ability to write in a straight line. So I like having blank, blank unlined paper and then I can, then I can adjust my font according to, to how I'm feeling that day. I can have micrographia if, if I'm so choosing or I can, I can write really big and visual and colorful if, if that's what, what strikes me, strikes my fancy. So love those. And then one thing about my personality, I like to take the time to actually write handwritten notes. 
uh, just a few, you know, one or two sentences to an individual, I think it goes a long way, both professionally and in your personal relationships. I think it shows, shows a lot. And I just enjoy doing it. And I find that, I, I feel like I, if I send an email saying thanks, it's, it's great that, you, that I acknowledge it. But I just don't feel, I just don't feel complete unless I've actually sent, unless I've actually sent a thank you note or a birthday card or a congratulations card. And now I've got the cards for the right occasion. That's always my shortcoming is I forget. Um, and I run out of, run out of cards for the right occasion. It's somebody's, somebody's anniversary or something. But this nice little card set, not only do you get the pretty metallic foil ceiling ceiling stickers, it's got dividers of the different of the different categories. E within each category, you get three three note cards and three corresponding envelopes. There is uh, birthday. There's thanks, congrats, inspire, and support. So that's wonderful. Hopefully, I don't have to use support too much. I imagine that has to do with with grief and hard times. So on that cheerful note, <laughs> um, I also, I love dropping you guys a little note. You all take the time out of your busy schedules to send me uh, beautiful cards and handwritten notes. And I greatly appreciate that. I like to return the favor. If you send me a note um, in my PO box and it happens to have your return address in it, I do my very best to send you a note back. And how cool is this? They sent me some Dr. Dre note cards to send you guys. So that's wonderful. I have them here in this box with a corresponding, they come with, a, with the ceiling envelope, the ceiling stickers for the envelopes. They're really packed in there nicely. <laughs> so I don't, wanna, I don't wanna pull them all out, but yeah, these boxes are great. They, um, they make really nice storage. I have one here, I'll show you guys, uh, similar, different pattern that I keep all of my, all of my stickers in. For, for jazzing up my planner. So this is helpful and it's really nice. You can stack them, stack them up, oops. Stack them up, you can put them in your bag and they stay closed. Um, they're really nice and I think they just look pretty as well. And then speaking of personal correspondence, I also got some more return address labels with my PO box on them and this is the pattern, the floating florals. This is what I use, what my, what my planner, planner is, so I like everything matchy-matchy in that sense. <laughs> and then I got a few things myself, uh, if you'll recall from my 2018 Lifestyle Favorites. I love these um, zipper bags, what they call planny packs. Um, I have one here I'll show you guys out of the package. Um, they are, they're wonderful. I use them to keep the, keep the pens in. But every time I'm using them, I think to myself that I want more because they, they're really well, well constructed, really nice quality, and they hold a lot. And I like that they have this little, little pocket here with the, with the elastic. So they are wonderful bag, purse organizers, bag organizers, great for putting sunscreen in. Um, and that is what, why I got the other one. I want one to, to tote sunscreen around so it's not flopping around everywhere and I have a, little, have a little sunscreen bag. So I got one for myself and then I also got, also got one for my mom. To have, um, I got this kind of mauve garnet color. Speaking of my mom, she requested, uh, my mom's gonna start using the, the mini planner. She requested some of these adhesive corner pockets. So I got her two sets of those, two different sizes. You can just slap these in the back of your, you just slap these in the back of your planner and you know put things in them. So got her those, and then I got some stickers, some for my mom for her um, planner for little Ty B, <laughs> um, to mark like his grooming appointment. Um, Ty B has a very busy schedule of um, social interactions, um, vet visit, I suppose when it's time for his time for his annual exam. I don't know. <laughs> Um, all the busy things Tybee has to keep up with. He's got stickers, and then I also got some of these pretty floating floral stickers to go in my planner. Planner, I also got some Valentine stickers for the month of February. So yeah, that is everything that I got from EC. I'm really grateful to the team at Erin Condren for sending me the wonderful desk set. Tybee's excited for his new stickers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
again. <laughs> it goes on all day. That's what keeps look, me safe. Look, he gets up on the couch like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah, that rule has been breached. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not allowed on the upholstered chair. That's why I have all those barriers set up. <laughs> Heidi is being a busy bee with his little bone there. <laughs> you got new glasses. I forgot to point that out. They look really nice. Uh, Warby Parker. Oh. This is my first time ever using, and it was smooth as could be. What's the style? The um, name of this? It's called Louise. Louise? Yeah. They look really good on you. Um, it was so easy. You pick them out, then uh -huh. they send you. You can pick five, uh -huh. and they send them to you, and you try them on at home and decide. And then you send them back. They give you a prepaid mailing tag. Yeah. And, um, you know, my prescription was going to run out on the 4th of January, yeah. so that's why I scrambled to do it. Yeah. And um, sure enough, they came uh, Tuesday, I think. And then you tried. It took a week and a half. That's good. Yeah, and if you're not happy, of course, you can... But uh, because these are progressive, yeah. So sometimes they're more tricky, but I have no problem. Good. I hope they look okay. Yeah, my glasses I've had for five years. <laughs> I should probably get new glasses, and I ordered them from Warby Parker. I feel like it was five years ago already. My goodness, you I do were, need new you glasses. Were in New York when you ordered them. Yeah, yeah, they're old, <laughs> but I think yeah. I need. I'm, I want to get some more. Maybe I'd wear my glasses more if I had more variety. I doubt it. I just can't get over the sensation of having things on my face. I don't I mind sunglasses, but... You can barely know what I'm used to. Yeah. I just don't feel like myself. I feel like I'm incognito. They donate one pair of glasses to some, some person. Yeah. Also, yeah. I think that's great. good. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have some lunch, but I wanted to make um, my mom the uh, rose rose uh, pomegranate smoothie that I've been having. So I'm gonna make a portion, a, a single portion for both of us to split because we're gonna have have it with a meal. Um, but this is something that I've been enjoying having, and you guys were asking for the recipe. It's pretty easy to make and very very tasty. So I just have a blender here. So just some ice, and then because we're gonna have this with a meal, I'm just gonna do one scoop of the protein powder, so that's half a serving. And then, these are the uh, juicy gems that I got at Costco. These are pomegranate seeds. And you wanna add a little bit of the juice to give it a nice pink, rosy color. And, well, two tablespoons of the pomegranate. And a little bit of almond milk. And then two teaspoons of the rose nectar. Whenever I do this, it reminds me of that scene from Mary Poppins where she gives them their medicine and it tastes good. <laughs> Steven. All right, and you guys know I have to, I enjoy having, everything has to have a topping. So I just have some, I don't know if you can see, crushed pistachio, pistachios here to a sprinkle on top. And then, remember how I love getting those uh, fruit bouquets? I got one. Um, and I saved the sticks, the skewers. Um, or my mom has, I should say. She washed them and has been holding on to them dutifully. And so I just have a strawberry here. I'm gonna make a little garnish. <laughs> Ta-da! These are really fun. They're like fun little Valentine's treats. <laughs> so, uh, my mom has, we have these glass drinking straws here. Let's put that 
that in there. Which, yeah, it came out cute, huh? It sure did. What are you, what are you having for lunch? I've got my lentil soup that I made in the Instant Pot. Ooh. And one of these um, Oh, CD those are good from Costco? Flatbreads that I get at Costco, uh -huh. yeah. And I have uh, some quinoa that I made with green beans. Ooh. And slivered almonds, spinach, mushrooms, and carrots. Cool. And I just made myself a salad of some spinach, mushrooms, some of my mom's uh, lentil soup. I just put on the salad some steamed carrots. And this stuff is really good. It is Blendabella. It's kind of like a, it's coconut Thai flavored, I guess, but it's sort of like a tapenade. It has just mun mushrooms, uh, bell pepper, um, and a bunch of spices. It's quite good. So I have a little bit of that there. Oh, wow, it's so delicate. It's good, huh? Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it's really exotic. I like it a lot. I just want to save him for later. Let's give it a taste. Stay, Stay classy. classy. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good with these straws because some of the, the pistachios get sucked up in the straw easily. Yeah, that's why those things that I looked at at uh, Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. they were cute, but the straws were too tiny. What things? For a smoothie. I sent you a picture of some, uh, some uh, glasses mm -hmm. to use for that, but I decided not to get them because the straws were too skinny. Too narrow, yeah, narrow straws are, are a no-go. How are they? Vegan Rice crispy Treats. You made those with the uh, with dandies. dandies? Yeah. And um, it said to use uh, vegan margarine, but I just used coconut oil instead. Uh -huh. It said vegan margarine and coconut oil, and I just used coconut oil. That's good. Yeah, that know. vegan margarine. Isn't all margarine vegan? Te I mean, it's not technically vegan because it's got palm oil in it, but That's yeah. That's pretty good. I beat no, sir. No, sir. How are they? Good. Good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm going to conclude it here. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and, subscribe. and subscribe. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Love you.